What's up, folks? Back with another reaction, back with some more punk rock, and we're going back to Rise Against again. I've reacted to a couple of their tunes, uh, including the opening tune from this album, their debut album, uh, The Unraveling. Um, I mentioned when I did that reaction, and it's called Alive and Well, by the way, uh, but I mentioned when I did that reaction that they sort of share a history with a couple other bands, in particular 88 Fingers Louie, because uh, when they started, uh, two of the members of 88 Fingers Louie had joined. Um, uh, Joe Principe, who had been in 88 Fingers Louie right before they sort of had um, dissolved in the first place. Um, as well as Dan, I think it, I forget how you pronounce his last name. It's sort of like, I think it's a Polish last name. It's like Wizelnuszki, something like that. But basically, Mr. Precision is the name he's gone by professionally, especially when he does like mastering and like producing for records. Um, but yeah, I believe Dan is his first name. Um, and so yeah, they joined um, Tim McElrath, and I forget the name of the drummer, but uh, yeah, that was the original lineup of Rise Against. Eventually, Mr. Precision left. He's actually gone back to 88 Fingers Louie in recent times, um, but Joe Principe remains in the band. Tim McElrath remains sort of the, you know, the front man and I believe the songwriter for most of their tunes. Um, but yeah, we're going to go back to their debut album. I want to say this is like 01 or 2000. I, I'll look it up in a second, but I am actually forgetting as I sit here. We're actually going to listen to the title track, The Unraveling, which I don't remember it lyrically. Um, so I'll try to catch some lines as we go. Um, I always love Tim's voice, by the way. It's got like rasp and scratch, but it's also, you know, very passionate um, and melodic in its in its idiom. Um, but I do remember the music, and I remember it has a, you know, it's not fast and rip-roaring like a lot of tunes on the track or on the album, including Alive and Well. It has more of like a like heavy, kind of like deep um, groove to it. Um, so yeah, it'll be interesting. I'll see if I can catch some of the lines and sort of remember, um, you know, where the lyrical themes are headed. Um, but yeah, I do think this song is notable on the album because not only does it just have kind of a catchy groove, but it's it's a different song. It's a slower song than most of the rest of the album. So here we go. This is Rise Against the Unraveling from the album of the same name. Um, give me one quick moment and I will check up what year this is from. Um, let's see. All right. And um, this album is from 2001. Yeah, so it's right about when I thought it was, um, right after the turn of the millennium. So here we go uh, The Unraveling from the album of the same name by Rise Against. <laughs> fire to the bridges that we something. It already sounds like, you know, you're doing actions which can't be undone. The unraveling. Switching, right? Melodic and scratchy in alternation. Think again and carry on. Fair to say, I think part of it is like 
you know, the way he sings, the first time you hear it, it, it he might be a little more difficult to pick up on the words than some other singers. It's not enough, but... Because even now, I'm only catching some of it. I don't know how you sing like that and like still have a voice after, you know, a year or like one concert tour. So shout out to Tim McGillrath. Again, I, I had forgotten like how like he did use both ends of his singing like in alternation like that. I don't think it's every song necessarily. Um, but yeah, I remembered it being more of a blend, whereas in this case it was like very hard and scratchy and like rough and then very melodic and soaring. Um, as I said, I only caught a few lines there. It was an idea of like burning bridges, and by the end he's saying, "I want you now," but I think there's you know an inability to you know reach out and to like have that connection or to have someone save him. So um, yeah, I feel like some of the themes sort of emerge, but even now, um, you know, trying to catch some of the lines, I'd, I'd have to hear that a few more times and you know, sort of um, digest it more. Um, back in the day, it might be fair to say that, you know, that one was more of a groove for me and, you know, not so much about um, the lyrics. Um, but either way, uh, I do enjoy their sound. I, their first two albums are my favorite, definitely. The Unraveling and maybe my favorite um, is, what I'm call what is it called? Revolutions Per Minute. Um, that one I think is my favorite. I already ranked to Blood, Red, White, and Blue. Um, I think that's my favorite song on that album. Check it out if you're interested. But yeah, let me know if there's another Rise Against song you'd like to hear. I do have the first three albums. I have the first two, and then I have Siren Song and the Counterculture. Um, after that, you know, I think I was following some other bands, and I was sort of getting back into techno and mixing again, so um, I think I just sort of drifted away, um, which isn't any disrespect. Um, I'm sure the stuff they've done since then is interesting in uh, many ways, and do let me know if there's an album that, like, hey, bro, you really do have to get this one. Um, but yeah, other than that, if you do have a song from the first three albums that you'd like to hear, let me know, uh, and have a good night, have a good day, I'll see you next time.